item line. And we're going to get started uh, real soon here. TLU still at the 2017 AM get together. Now we're going to go around and irritate everybody with the question of the day. Here we go. So, so what I do every year is we have a question of the day. Mm -hmm. It's real simple. What was your first rig? Well, it was a DX40 okay. transmitter and an ARC-5 receiver. All right. And That's, that was in your uh, novice days? Yeah, that was 53 years ago. All yeah. Right. Yeah. First rig was a home brew. It came out of a 1953 QST. It was a single 6L6, and it was 11 watts and 75 meters. Cool. What did you use for a receiver? Uh, home brew, super regenerative, five tube, also on a piece of one-inch plywood. Excellent. All right, man, you're on the air. All right. Well, my first rig was a 6AF4 tube. It was a, uh, an oscillator tube out of a TV converter. Ran a half a watt. Mm -hmm. And I made a contact from uh, Saginaw, Michigan to uh, somewhere in New York, over near Buffalo, I think. And that was the greatest feat I thought I ever did for years and years and years. It was just amazing. Excellent. And I used a uh, AR3 Heathkit receiver, mm -hmm. which drifted like hell. <laughs> my first rig, it was a Hammerlin. Uh, my first rig was a homemade job okay. out of the book. And then I got a Hammerlin, and it was... Uh, a uh, modulator and a transmitter. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was the dirtiest thing there ever was. <laughs> <laughs> my first rig, my first real radio was a DX100. All right. That was my first real transmitter. All right, how about receiver? Uh, SX100 came Excellent. with it. Excellent. There's one of those here, by the way, you know. Oh, is there? Yeah. You could relive the days, I, man. Go well, buy it. There aren't many days left for me to relive. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting shorter and shorter. What about you, man? What was your first rig? Oh, no. First uh, rig. My I think, uh, we went through that last year. Uh, FT-101. Huh? Uh, double E. Okay. And... I was 13 years old. My dad, uh, in the interest of the Vietnam War going on, decided that it would be good for me to get into ham radio because he thought probably I wouldn't be on the front lines mm -hmm. if I was a radio operator. So he bought me a Hammerlin HQ-110 receiver, mm -hmm. and we built up a night kit transmitter to go with it. Uh, DX-20 okay. Heath kit that I built from scratch, Excellent. and used that with an S-38D receiver. Mm -hmm. Did pretty good on CW? Yeah, it yeah. really did. It, it really did. Graduated from that up to a DX-100. Yep. <laughs> Yep. And an NC-125 receiver. Excellent. Yep. My first rig? Yeah. Uh, AR-13 or AR-3. It was a heat kit AR-3. And uh, a DX-100. Yeah, I bought the DX-100 and put it together because everybody said, Big, 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 best bang for your box. Yep. Yep. That's what we used. I still got it. You do? Yep. So it's an easy one. What All was right. your first rig? Uh, let's see, a tour. A tour? Heathkit tour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The lunchbox, right? Yeah, there's yeah. one sitting over here somewhere. Well, you should buy it. Well, I have one at home. Uh, I built three or four of them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, well, that was my first rig I got on the air as a dual licensee, huh? novice and technician. Yep. And then uh, after a while, upgraded and I got a TX62. Mm -hmm. And I still have that. And uh, it's on the workbench right now. Lots well, some new capacitors, I think, in the high voltage section. So. Good deal, man. I love that rig. Guess what time it is? Uh, what funny. time is it, Terry? What time is it? What was your first rig? Mine? Yeah. I was out of the 1949 handbook. It was the two pieces of wood with a 6L6. And it was just one tube. 6L6 and a socket to stick the crystal in. Yeah. And, a, and, and I had a, an SX24 for a receiver. And the knit, we had the coils on the knitting needles for the transmitter. You coupled it to a 600 ohm wire line and an antenna. I worked 13 states. Cool. Cool. On 80 meters. All right. How about you, Zap Man? What was your first rig? You remember it? When I was a kid, I made a single tube, a little CW transmitter, but uh, actually, the first rig would have been a 
big old military uh, Navy transmitter. Oh, okay. And then I had a, after that I had a, a military T-195 with a 392 UR receiver. And My first rig was a Sears and Roebuck walkie-talkie on Channel 5. How about ham? <laughs> oh, ham rig? <laughs> <laughs> My first ham rig was a DX100. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. You still got it? No. Oh, okay. DX100B, in fact. Yeah. Well, it's a big scratchy Apache over here, man. You yeah, I got that. one of them. Okay. I don't need another one. What about you, Bob? You remember it, your first rig? Or is it one of these that I'm looking at? Uh, my first rig was uh, out of the Novice and Technician Handbook by uh, Bill Orr and William. Uh, Bill Orr and Don Stoner. Yep. The little, little Jeffy 15 water. I built a whole room. And uh, I formed up the chassis out of galvanized tin, and my uncle soldered the corners of the chassis, and I built it up from there. Excellent. Yep. The rig I had was, it wasn't mine, it was loaned to me by my Elmer. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a, um, a Globe Scout mm -hmm. and a. Uh, S38 Helicrafters, which really sucked as a receiver, but back in the 60s it worked. <laughs> yeah. So that was the job, man. Yeah, it did. Yep. It did. Made a lot of contacts. Cool. Thank you. So, yep. Appreciate it. What was your first rig? <laughs> oh, that's okay, not, go ahead. You know, start that happened at the, start the, that happened at the extravaganza, <laughs> too. Yeah. Now you can start the no, That's all right, man. What was your first rig? Uh, I think my first one was an Army 45. And uh, the uh, all that uh, gearing in there kind of fascinated me. So I was a little punk, and I took that thing apart. Oh. I never did get it back together Bummer. again. <laughs> Guys, so the first one that you built was in this? Yeah, uh, that was... What year is that? Handbook? 1953. All right. The reason it was given to me was it was year I was born. My grandfather yeah, and Howard held K9HCT, K9FEA both. And this is what it was. That's it. That's it. Great. That's it. And the receiver's in here too. Five, five tube super regenerative for seventy-five and forty. Well, my first rig was a Heathkit tour back in 1964, and uh, I had a broomstick beam, four or five elements made out of uh, heavy steel uh, fence wire. Had a uh, you know cold solder joint delta match to a piece of 300 ohm twin lead, and uh, and as it came in the ham shack, it had a uh, coaxial balance. Uh, to bring it back down to 50 ohms, and uh, amazingly, I worked Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I worked w, W0RWC in Cedar Rapids back in 1964 with that tour. I had to go outside and fine-tune the uh, direction with an Armstrong rotor, but uh, anyway, that's my story. All right. Great. Appreciate it. Thank you. My first rig? Yeah. Uh, Temple One. Okay. All right. How about you? Um, I think Drake Twins, R4B, T4XB. Okay. Did you like the thing on CW? I drove, you know, I had one and it drove me nuts, man. I you never was used it on CW. Ooh, <laughs> bad question. How about you, Doug? I had a pair of ARCs, fives, uh, 80 meter and 40 meters, CW. Mm -hmm. And then I had an old uh, post-war uh, Meisner receiver with kit that my grandfather did. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. It was the coolest one I've ever been on with. Uh, my very first rig, ham radio rig, was a, uh, 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 man, now you're making me stump. Um. <laughs> Maybe I should answer it for you. <laughs> it was a Kenwood. Okay. It was tube. <laughs> okay. Like a ten, Kenwood 520 maybe? Uh, a little higher. 830? 830. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had brain dead going on. It wasn't the gold, it was just yeah. the standard one, but that was Great my rig. first rig. Great yeah. rig. Simple. What was your first rig? My first that rig was a 6V6 oscillator. Transmitter into a Wyndham antenna. Mm -hmm. Worked uh, worked the world with it. What did you use for a receiver at the time? The receiver was an RME 45. An RME 45. So the table was taken up by the receiver, and of course the transmitter didn't take up any space. Yeah. It was so small, a little 6v6 oscillator. Yeah. You recall they had those uh, in the ARRL, how to be a ham, I think. How to be a ham. They had an, mine wasn't exactly like that, but practically it was like that. All right, man, I'm going to get you in your natural yeah. environment. What do we got? The donut. I know. What was your first rig, you remember? A Knight T60 
And a Mosley CM1. Oh, yeah, yeah, that Mosley had all the same type of tubes in it, right? 6AW8A, 5 ohm. Yeah. It was a pretty cool set. Yeah, you still have it? Oh, yeah. Do I, I bought a couple more along the way. <laughs> I've got about three of them now. All right, all right, thanks. My first rig as a novice was in 1959. A single 6146 oscillator, crystal oscillator, 75 watts, mm -hmm. kind of hard on crystals, yeah. home brew, and an old Zenith radio receiver mm -hmm. that I heterodyned in the IF, another little ACDC radio for the BFO. <laughs> and I worked 48 states with that. Yeah, yeah. Those were the 40 good meter CW. Yeah. 90s. <laughs> My name's Brad, NB9M. You have a question for me. Yeah, I was just wondering what your first rig was. First rig, Holocrafters S38. Like, thousands and thousands of other boys yep. introduced to the whole magical world of radio yep. that stuck and never went away. Right. Okay. That's why we're here. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, so what was your first rig? Well, actually it was a Yaesu um, 857 and it was mobile in uh, the Subaru and now it's for sale. And you're selling so, it. Yeah, and yeah. it was a good rig. All right. Yep. So. So N6TLU's first rig was a Johnson Viking 2 with a matching 122 VFO and a Helicrafter SX100, which is a very cool receiver. And I made my first contact with that on CW. All right, so the first rig, it seems like the common theme is homebrew equipment. A lot of guys made their little homebrew oscillators and they ran them with Helicrafter receivers, okay? Which would be expected for guys in our age group. It would be interesting to find out, if I ask that question 20 years from now, what people would be running as their first rigs. And I bet you it's not tube equipment. Hope you enjoy it. Is this uh, car going to go up on the auction table? No. <laughs> Great day for a ride. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Is this your baby? I love it, man. Yeah, 1929 Ford Touring Car, mm -hmm. or Phaeton. And uh, they made 50,000 of them in 29. Wow. But most of them went down south.